Today I'll be responding to a video by Scam School that, according to my calculations, will involve nearly 92% less hair gel. Hello everybody, my name's James and this is a response video to the card trick featured on the excellent show Scam School. In it, the host Brian Bushwood shuffled a pack of cards and asked this volunteer to name two card values, ignoring the suits, so the volunteer could name an ace and a three or a king and a queen. The host then bet a drink that the two values would appear next to each other somewhere in the pack. The volunteer believes that this is a safe bet because he thinks the chances his two cards will appear together is very unlikely, yet the host wins time and again. Brian explained that this trick is simply based on probability. It doesn't work every time, and he did go on to show some of his fails. Still, he claimed that the probability was way over 50%, and challenges any math modes to come up with the exact odds. Oh wait, that's me. When I've worked it out, given two card values, the probability is 48 0.3%. But wait a minute, this surprised me because I thought the odds were supposed to be way over 50%. To show you how I got this answer, let's make it simpler and we'll just consider six cards. Here I have the King Queen Jack of Hearts and the King Queen Jack of Diamonds. These may look like jumbo sized, but in fact I'm just a tiny, tiny man. The first question is how many ways are there to shuffle six cards? To work this out, we have to consider our choices. In the first place, I'm going to have six choices. The King of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, the Jack of Hearts, the King of Diamonds, the Queen of Diamonds, or the Jack of Diamonds. So I'm going to make my choice. Let's say in the first place, I choose the King of Hearts, and I put that there. Now in my second place, I'm going to have five choices left. I can pick any of these cards, but let's say it's the Queen of Hearts. I'm going to put my second choice down. In the third place, again now, we have four choices. I'm going to pick a choice, and we keep going, and so on, just like this, until we end up with one card left, which we're forced to take and put in the final place. So if I want to find out the total number of ways to shuffle six cards, what I do is I multiply choices together. So it is six choices times five times four times three times two times one. That's 720. There are 720 ways to shuffle six cards. So what's the probability that the king of hearts will be next to the queen of hearts? Well, there are 240 out of 720 shuffles that have these two cards next to each other. We can work that out in the same way I worked out how to shuffle six cards. So that's one in three, one third of the time. Now, if we just ignore suits and want to know the probability of a king-queen pair, well, since there are four ways to make a king-queen pair, it is tempting to think that it is four times as likely. But that would be naive. What happens is we would end up counting something like this twice. We would count it as two successes because we have two king-queen pairs, when in fact it is only one success. If we did multiply by four, we would end up with something over 100%, which are the sort of dodgy figures reserved solely for football coaches and bankers. What you can do is look at this from the other direction. What's the probability of no king-queen pairs? Well, if we have no king-queen pairs, then the cards must look something like this. So I take the queen away, I'm going to slide the king over, I'm just going to swap the jack and the queen like that, and so we have no king-queen pairs. Now, as you can see, no king is next to a queen. There is a pair of queens, but you get nothing for a pair, not in this game, so we can swap over the two queens and that would work, and we can swap over the two jacks, that would still work, we can swap over the two kings, and that would work. In fact, there are 32 ways that I can shuffle these cards so there are no king-queen pairs. Try and find them. Since there are 32 out of 720 shuffles with no king-queen pairs, or to put it another way, there are 688 shuffles that do, 
That's 95.6%. Very likely. With 52 cards, it's just more complicated. And when I did this, I had to split it up into 12 cases. And then I had some friends run some simulations to help me. So I must say thank you to Nick and Michael. This is my answer, but it may still not be the final word. So I invite you to try it out for yourselves. Make sure you do really good shuffles. And I think your success rate should be about 50-50, which is no better than a coin toss. Still, it may be enough to win your drink. So as usual, if you have been, thanks for watching.